And I saw this functional equation on YouTube. Uh, I have a different approach. I think um, my way might be better. So I would like to share with you. <coughs> okay, now, from this given equation that we know that P of X is equal to <coughs> is equal to P of X plus 1 minus X. Okay, good. Now, from which that we know that P of 0, P of 0 is P of 1 minus 0, right? Which is equal to P of uh, 1. And we know that, uh, what what is P of 0? P of 0 is a, is a, is, is a y-intercept, it's constant. So it says a fixed number, C. Okay, good. And we know that the P of 0 is, is a constant. P of 1 is also C. Therefore, the, the, the polynomial P of X must be something like this, you know, uh, X times X minus 1 plus C. See? When P of 0 is a C, P of 1 is a C. And they just add a, a constant coefficient, C alpha. So this might be my polynomial we are looking for. I just want to determine uh, the coefficient alpha. <coughs> now from, uh, from uh, the given equation that P of 0 is equal to P1, and P1 is what? P1 is equal to P2 minus 1. So it's equal to P2 minus 1. And what's P2? P2 is P3 minus 2. So this one is equal to P3 minus 3. And what's P3? P3 is a... Uh, P3 is a... Uh, P4 minus 3. So this one is a P4 minus 6. Right? Yes. What's the P4? P4 is equal to P5 minus 4. So it was P over 5 minus 10. And this will uh, keep going on, you know, like this. This is uh, well, uh, well. Let me continue. This suppose this is a PK minus a number. Well, that's the pattern, right? A P of something minus a number. Then this is a B. Huh? Then the next one will be P K plus one. Minus uh, K plus B. It's correct. If this is a two, now okay. 2 plus 1 is 3, 4 plus 6 is 10, and the five plus, next one is 15, and so on. So this plus this will be the next constant. So this plus this was the next one, for next k plus 1, and so on. So, uh, therefore, in general, P of A minus B is equal to P of A plus 1 minus A plus B. Okay. This is what my 
assumption is, you know, I presume that is the case. I just want to verify, you know. All right. So, let's see. So this is my my uh, my suggestion of the of uh, of of the polynomial. Then uh, p p of two is equal to alpha times two times one plus. C, right? Yes. This one. P2. P2 is this. P2 is this. So P2 minus 1 is equal to 2 alpha plus C. Okay. Minus 1, right? So P, P2, P, P of 2 minus 1 is P3 minus 3. This is equal to P over 3. P over 3 is uh, alpha times 3 times 2 plus C. Right? Minus 3. So this says that 2 alpha plus C minus 1 is equal to 6 alpha plus C minus 3. Then uh, alpha is equal to CC cancel out 4 This is minus 2 this is a four, the four, this alpha is the half, right? So my my polynomial I suggest is, is a half x x minus one plus c. So this a claim is my solution. I just need to be verified. Okay. All right, now, how do we verify? So, I presume that this is my solution, right? Based on my discussion of those uh, phenomenal calculations. So, l let me verify. I want to verify this, right? This is given. This is my given equation. I suppose, you no, know, I've supposed that solution fits for that one. Now, the left hand side, the left hand side is equal to p of x plus 1 minus p of x. So, this is equal to. <coughs> That's my solution, right? Half uh, x plus 1 times x, right? Plus c. Minus half x, x minus 1 plus c. That's left hand side of uh, the given equation. So half x is common, x plus 1 minus x minus 1. Okay, so that is equal to x cancel out 2x. This is x cancel out is 2, right? Is equal to x. That equals to the right hand side. So bravo, no? That is verified. This is my solution. Therefore, P of X is equal to half X, X minus 1, 
plus c c is my y intercept right p of zero so this is equal to half x square minus half of x plus c that is the polynomial we are looking for all right thank you for your watching